at why they locked the room. Uh, what's the big deal? We'll find a way to open it. Sean, this is super easy. I can just break the lock with my power. <sighs> yeah, I could do that with a hammer. But let's try and find the key instead, all right? I'm just gonna clean up real quick. Locked drawer. Maybe the key to Karen's room is inside. <laughs> Love the outfits, guys. Man, he looks so different. So young. Dude. Hurry. I'll stay here in case. <sighs> Karen hated collecting trinkets. She used to say they were just useless dust traps. Who knew this sweet little muffin would turn into such a brat? <laughs> Still super cute, though. Yeah, no. No way I'm searching Claire's underwear. Sharp objects. <laughs> Bit like Claire. <sighs> Come on, little key. Don't be shy. Didn't know Claire had sleep troubles. I guess it kind of makes sense. Wonder what would have been different if Dad had taken us to church. How much more Irish can you be? Sean, hurry up. They might come back any minute. Yes, Daniel. I know. I can't find the fucking key. I just need... Okay, Stephen. Where do you hide this key? We clearly don't share politics, but... At least Stephen doesn't preach. I don't really see Steven listening to old school pop rock music. Yeah, not much to see in here. Clothes, old stuff, but definitely no hidden key. Sean, I saw Grandma go into the room yesterday. It looked like she left something there. But then she locked the door. Did you see where she put the key? I think uh, she put something in her pocket. <sighs> yeah, of course. Shit. These are Christmas presents? <laughs> Let's not tell Daniel. Or he'd freak. Come on, little key. Don't be shy. Definitely not the one. Way too small. But let's see what it opens. Whoa. I'm just looking for a key. Not the crown jewels. Ew. Are these milk teeth? I'm not sure if it's gross or cute. But still, no key uh, here. Okay, Daniel. Uh, think hard. What was she wearing? Uh, Come on, little key. Don't be shy.
Yep. It's empty. Hey, I think that's the cardigan Claire was wearing yesterday. Yes. I found one key, so... It better fit. Just try it. Wow. There's not that much left. Where do you think they put the rest of her stuff? It's her teenage room. I'm sure she sorted through her things before leaving for Seattle. The rest is probably packed in these boxes. Sean? What do you think happened to all the stuff in my room? When we left? I'm sure everything's still there, like we left it. Okay. It's like she almost never used those. I think I remember that one. Karen showed it to me once. You... Ulysses? Ulysses. Okay, Daniel. You've seen everything you wanted to see? Claire and Steven will be home soon now. Just five more minutes. Hey, Daniel. Check this out. His name is Ulysses. Like... the hero? I guess. So cool. Hi, Ulysses. They want to forget anything related to Karen. I can relate. <sighs> I miss my music. This playlist is boring as hell. So, you were a friend of my mommy's? I hope she took good care of you. They looked happy. How could she send all of this to hell? Did she take you with her when she went on trips? These pictures are so... random. I wonder my mom loved it so much. Is that an amethyst? She was into New Age bullshit. <sighs> yeah. You finally left forever. Coward. You're not that fluffy anymore, little bear. <sighs> I don't recognize any of these games. Hope you enjoyed your trips. So you didn't bail on us for nothing. <sighs> Read a lot of these in the 10th grade. <sighs> Yawn. <sighs> Guess the no phone rule wasn't such a thing back then. Karen liked to take pictures of strangers when we walked down the streets. <sighs> Never been a big fan of hiking. But here I was, walking my way down to Mexico. Huh. I think I saw a moon eclipse once, before Daniel was born. Karen was still with us then. I miss my skateboard and going to the park with Lila.
These letters look pretty recent. Why would Claire lock these up in here? Is that for Mom? Huh? Let me see- Daniel! Come on. What's it say? Read it! Seriously, stop! Here, how about this? I've heard the news about Seattle. Please help my boys if they come to you. What? Why did they hide this from us? I don't know. You can reach me at, at this address. It's a P.O. box I use sometimes. What's a P.O. box? Well, a cop-out in this case. I beg you, please help my sons. Oh, yeah, right. Total bullshit. What do you mean? She cares about us. Well, I don't. Maybe she changed her mind. We could try and contact her. You don't even know her, okay? Don't get any wrong ideas. We should just stick to our plan. For now. Can I read it again? Yeah. Then we gotta go. Thank goodness. Oh. Shit. Excuse me. What are you both doing in here? Except visibly. Ransacking our house while we're at church? Claire, we're sorry. But we just wanted to... No one ever told you that everything you say before a butt has no value? You know you shouldn't be in here. Claire, please, calm down. No, Stephen. They went way out of line here. We specifically told you to stay out of this room. I just wanted to see my mom stop. This isn't her room anymore. There is nothing to see in here. It's time you learn to respect some rules. Actually, we did find something. Yeah, we found a new letter from my mom. She said she wants to see us, but... You didn't even tell us! She's not my daughter anymore. Or your mother. She burned all those bridges. One letter doesn't change what she did to me. All of us. She is not welcome back. Just don't blame us for being curious about her. But I know her better than anybody. She hasn't changed. She just feels guilty. I can't hear that. <sighs> Listen, Sean. I know life has been tough on you the past month. Bless your souls. And, and we put up with a lot of things. But that going through our stuff, our personal belongings, oh. That shows you don't respect us. We could go to jail just for helping you. This is how you pay us back? Well, things are just going to change around here if you want to stay. Man, I think I see why Mom left now. She couldn't put up with your stupid rules anymore. Oh, so that's what you think. Then let me tell you something. Huh? <gasps> Steven! Oh, shit! Get this goddamn thing off me! Steven, no! Hold on, honey, we'll get it off! No! Stop! Oh, my legs! this. Claire, you'll have to pull him out. Hold on, Steven. This might hurt. This is worse. Do it. 
One, two, three. Hold on. My leg. Almost there. Come on. Oh, my baby. Thank you. You were right, Claire. I should have fixed that cupboard months ago. I guess my laziness will get me someday. Oh, Stephen. <laughs> Please don't say that. It's, it's the sheriff. Stephen? Claire? Sean, I didn't. We didn't call them. I know, Grandma. Sean, what are we gonna do? Go hide in the garage. No, no, no way. If the police searches the house, that makes the two of you accomplices. Get your bags and go out the back door. I'll distract him. Really? Yes. No. Get the hell out of here. I know you're in here. Your car is in the driveway. I'm so sorry for everything. I wish we could have helped you more. I wish you could stay here with us. Thanks, Grandma. We're gonna miss you. I'll stop that. We'll see you as soon as we can, okay? Thanks for helping us, both of you. Oh, we love you. Now hurry up. Daniel. better come back. Hold on a second. Here, this is your cape. You're the real superhero. Thanks, Tris. That's super cool. Like you. Daniel, let's go. Take the troll forest shortcut. It's right through there. Nobody will find you. Chris, <sighs> you rock. Goodbye, Captain Spirit. See you around, Super Wolf. The Spirit Squad will stay united forever. I feel like a, a fate superhero. Chris was so sad when he found out that... He had to find out anyway, before he did something dangerous. I know. I just feel sorry for him. Don't be. 
No matter what happened, I think you guys will always be friends. I hope. Sean. I'm tired of running away. I don't want to be a superhero anymore. You don't have to use your power if you don't want to. I know, but sometimes I can help, and how do I know when to use it? You don't. You can only trust your guts and listen to your brother. You think we'll see Grandma and Grandpa again? I don't know. We'll see. Where are we gonna go now? See... See, Mom? No way, man. We don't need her, okay? But... She said she wanted to find us. We stick to the plant. We go to Puerto Lobos. That's where we belong. No one will tell us what to do. We can be whoever we want. Y you think? I don't know. Trust me, man. From now on, we make our own rules. Look. I even got you a present. Merry Christmas, eh, Nano? For real? But it's in two weeks. Who cares? Dates are boring. Here. Whoa, it's super cute. Early Christmas is the best. Hey, I got something for you two. I wanted to finish it, but we're doing it now, so. Oh, man. That's so cool. Hey. Listen. There's a ride. Come on. All aboard.